All right, welcome back, guys, to day two of Harvester. All right, what did we have to do today? Oh, we got the uh, the glue, so now we can go talk to random people around town. And I fall to sense upon Harvest. Oh. Bake sale here? The bake sale will be head here. The door is locked. Uh, broom closet key. No. Nope. Hmm. Oh, hi, moms. What a good boy you are. Have a cookie. Thank you for a Hormuth mug. Uh, was it? <laughs> Gunks? Thank you, uh, no, sorry. Gun Hogs, Ritz Bits 9. Anonymous, thank you for ordering some Hormuth merch, guys. Uh,. You all look alike. Mercy, what a terrible thing to say, isn't it, ladies? Yes, terrible. Oh, God. Uh, all the moms look the same, except a different wig each time. We also have a better Twitch TV mode, guys, called Dan Steve. Buy some cookies? It's for a good cause. To hell with your cookies. Why, I never. Isn't that right, ladies? Yes, never. <laughs> Hello, Steve. So nice to see you. Who exactly is these cook is this bake supposed to benefit? Derelicts and bums who wander into town who don't have enough money for a decent burial. They deserve to be buried. It's the Christian thing to do. <laughs> That's awful nice of you. But why do so many derelicts and bums die in Harvest? Don't be such a wise apple, Steve. Don't be such a wise apple? Buy some cookies? Why? Yeah. Hmm. The bake sale is very strange. Hmm. PTA bomb. Gymnasium rules. No blood on the floor. Two. Do unto others as you would do unto your mother. <laughs> Three. No laughing. Four. No sports allowed. What the hell? Uh, emergency doors are locked from the outside. Ladies, someone has just burned down the TV station. <gasps> on the night of our baby Oh, no. Someone burned down the TV station. Oh. Oh, he did it again. That son of a bitch. Silver Tucker with a yellow interior. Wow, he definitely burned the shit out of it. TV station is closed. Well then, uh... Oops. Hope that's not bad. Go ahead and save. Night five. That's far enough, my four-legged friend. Four-legged? Four-legged? How long are you going to torment me? 
You have two legs to spare, but no. Llamas aren't like that. They don't care. They don't love. Stay away from now on. Stay away. Or so help me next time, I'll rain on everybody's goddamn parade. Are you okay, sir? Son, I've got more important things to do than chew the fat with you. I've got to drain my bags. Oh, God. <laughs> Son, I... He's gonna drain his bags. These aircraft here to be well-maintained. B-17. Well-stocked with nuclear missiles. I don't know if the guard booth is only building on the base. Right. Barber shop. Picture of a young Pastorelli spaghetti on his mouth and all. Uh, Clem Parsons took this rare photograph of extraterrestrial. <laughs> Thank you, Clorox, for the uh, gift sub, or for the order of some Hormuth merch. All right, let's, we got to burn down Edna's diner. Oop, not the fire station. We need to go in the heart. Oh my God, he's dead. Acid just waiting to happen. Someone killed him. He's been murdered. Action is waiting to happen. Uh, police station, Edna's diner. Right, let's go ahead and save. Again. Let's go ahead and smash the, the door. Wow, professional break in. Oh. Tape first again. So tape on the door. And then smash it. Grease fryer is off. Hmm. Grease fire and. Well, that didn't work. How do I make it? Vitamins, cough medicine, aspirin. Grease fryer is on. to go in here. Cake cover. Cake cover. Put the glue on the cake cover. Put the cake cover on the smoke alarm. Oh, yeah. Backup save. It's about to get fiery in here. Matches. Yeah. Burn. Burn. <laughs> this is fine. It's very fine in here. This is fine. <laughs> I 
<laughs> it was fine. It was fine. Yeah, if you don't get out of there fast enough, you die. All right, matchbook. Yeah. I need to get out of there. Oops. Am I getting in trouble for that? Uh, to get into the lodge, we have to do a bunch of tasks they give us, and one of them was to burn down the diner. The lodge, a mysterious place. We don't know what's going on in it. This game's just really weird. Really weird. Now let's go chat with everyone. What do you want, Steve? Hank? What? Why are you sitting in front of that blank TV? Someone burnt down the TV channel. There's nothing on. Nothing on. Honestly, Hank, you're acting like an alcoholic. I told you all that TV would hurt you. <laughs> watching TV don't hurt me, Mom. But not watching TV hurts bad. Aww. If I find out who burnt down the TV station, I'll make him wish he was one of those damn Indians. Oof. Hey, it's too bad they don't give scout badges for digging up buried kids. I like to see what that badge would look like. I went over to ask her what it was like, being buried alive and all. What? But she just stared at me, and twitched, and drooled. <laughs> I guess I got my answer. Huh. Uh, TV? That's a weird looking television. Come to think of it, this whole place looks totally retro. What do you mean, retro? All TVs look alike. Sure, basically. Old sack. Yeah, but look at the two. What's that? Continuity I, error. The TV's supposed to be working. No. Then sh okay, we did this earlier. So he doesn't have any new lines, just that Good. last one. The TV's supposed to be not working. Hello, mother. Hello, dear. How are you today? The nerve of some people burning down the TV station to detract from our bake sale. I doubt the perpetrator did it just to annoy the Harvest PTA. <laughs> Coincidence? I don't think so. Just six months ago, the newspaper building went up in smoke. Obviously, there's a firebug on the loose. Either that or a communist. What? Steve, I'm so scared. <laughs> What's communism got to do with anything? Just ask Colonel Monroe at the missile base. He'll tell you. Now that the bake sale's over, I just don't know how I'll fill my time. Oh, I feel so useless. My goodness. Jeez. What's wrong with her? Oh my god! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, it's not as bad as it looks. <laughs> you just pop them back in. Oh god. See? What the fuck? As good as new. That tarantula she ate must have had wasp eggs in it. Don't you think we should get her to a doctor? What for? She's got her mother. How silly I was, feeling useless just because there are no more cookies to bake. I can still rear my brood. 
This is a sign, Steve. I have a purpose again. Uh, glad to see you're feeling better. Mind, that fire still burns my britches. First the newspaper building, then DNA's diner, then W-H-A-R. I sense a pattern. And any pattern I can't make a dress out of is no darn good. <laughs> I suppose you heard about DNA's diner burning down. Sheriff Duane thinks it was a grease fire. What? We took a black eye on the bake sale, but I'm sure the Harvest PTA annual blood drive will be more successful. Overall, we made about $200, hardly enough to bury a dead horse, and definitely not enough to cover the annual blood drive. Annual blood drive? Annual blood drive, huh? If you knew how much blood we get, you'd be more impressed. Donations are mandatory, Steve. Mandatory. If you're still here come Sunday, you'll be expected to give. Until it hurts, I suppose. Until it hurts. Even Hank will have to donate. Of course, Lodge members are exempt. Remember that. Hey, either way, no one's sticking me with a needle. We don't use needles. What? Uh, let's say a bad word. What a thing to say to your mother. Was that an invitation now that your father is out of action? What? Yeah, how about it? <laughs> Maybe later, dear. Right now I have housework to do. So you can watch if you want. Don't forget to put the papers out for <laughs> Jimmy. You know how he gets. <laughs> what? <laughs> He's so messed up. Uh, oh, let me grab the paper for Jimmy. Oh, it's so strange. She's not really our mother, by the way. Uh, we wake up in a weird place we've never seen before with um, with amnesia, but it's not our mother. We don't know any of these people. We've never been in this town before. So we're trying to figure out what the hell is going on because we wake up in this place. We don't know how we got here, who we are, like what's going on. It's just very strange. There now, see how easy it is? Things are so much better between us when you remember the paper in the morning. And let's keep them that way. Yeah, let's... We'll, we'll keep it that way, buddy. Now let's go into town. General Star. If you don't give him a newspaper every day, he kills you. Hello, Steve. Somebody stole the barber's pole from that nice Italian. Steve, can you imagine? And then they left live wires dangling in a puddle. What? Which Pastorelli immediately stepped in and fried the stupid Dago. Heavens to Betsy, when it rains, it pours. Oh, my God. I don't mind telling you, when I heard what happened to the diner, I went out and got me extra insurance right away. I have no desire to wind up dangling from my rafters like Edna. Believe you me. Steve, did you see the fire? As I was watching the TV station go up, I was reminded of the old Sentinel building. When you think about it, you know, two communication complexes going up in smoke? You have to wonder if it was a coincidence. True. I forgot to save. Let me save today. Day six. I was gonna have a backup save just in case. Do you have anything new over here? Soup cans. Canned soup, possibly rat poison. Great. Right. Can you kill the lady? I don't think you can get back there to, to harm her. So, no. So, it looks like, nope. Water cooler. Dead roaches and bits of arid grit cover the water cooler's bone dry reservoir. Oh, great. Great. Yeah. Her TV seems like it's working, but it shouldn't be. I've been to Pastorelli's during the day after he died. Oh my god, you can see his burnt corpse. 
Except for its occasional hairball, it's hard to tell if she's alive or not. Think about taking some of that siding off my hands, son. I'll cut you a nice price on it. I was one what found Pastorelli this morning after he stepped in the water with the live wires hanging out. His body was so burnt, his arms and legs was blackened, fused together, and the sheep was well done, too. Problem is, both was burnt so bad, and the flesh all crisp and distorted, limbs melded. You couldn't tell them apart. And, well, I didn't want to take a chance on eating Italian. No, sir, I didn't. What? I tell you. The only thing worse than a fire station full of sissies is a fire station full of peeved sissies. They're all accusing each other of stealing some silk underwear or something. Boy, whoever said fighting fire with fire be happy in harvest. The TV station burning down's been good for business. Lots of folks are thinking of investing in aluminum siding. Oh my god. All you can think about is your aluminum siding. Nice to see you again, Steve. I can't talk now, son. I'm busy with this game. Oh, come on. Banging if the whole town ain't going to hell. Poor old Johnson. Defecating a work of art like that. Well, that's a sheer sign that civilization is coming to an end. I guess you heard that dang idiot Pastorelli went out and got himself electrocuted. Somebody stole a barber's pole. The alarm system triggered the sprinkler. There was water on the floor this morning, and the darn crook left exposed wires out. The Pastorelli came in, flipped the switch, and then zap! Yeah, maybe them aliens is hot for colored glass after all. Ain't that a kick in the head? First we lose the only barber in town, then poof! No more diner either. Eh, don't that beat all? And now that the TV station's burned down, maybe folks will get off their duff and get outdoors and live a little. Maybe take up alien hunting. Say, Clem, will aluminum siding protect you from them alien sensor jobbies? Nope. You show up on their radar as a hunter surrounded by aluminum siding. Trust me, lead's the ticket. Just my luck. Lead? Oh, my God. Anytime, Steve. Just insane. Uh, post office. That guy totally burned down the building. Hey, buddy. Sorry, son. No time to talk. Neither rain nor sleep nor snow nor hell shall keep the mail from its appointed rounds. I hear you've been spreading all sorts of gossip about me around town. You've shut your mouth what? off about Sheriff Dwayne blackmailing me. Not a smart thing to do, given that Dwayne carries a gun. Anyone who can't keep secrets is unworthy of the order. I wish I hadn't already given you that lodge application. Well, don't hold your breath waiting for your mail, that's all I can say. Hello there, young man. What's the good word? Someone burned WHAR down last night. Really? I hadn't heard anything about it. And since I don't have a TV, I didn't notice it was off. Huh. Really? I saw you running away from the the crime scene, sir. Fire. Don't mumble, son. Can't understand you. Uh, TV station. Seems that since the fire, WHAR has filled the void. Now just as many people waste their time watching TV as they ever did reading the paper. Seems like there's less and less mail all the time. Next hey. time you post, don't forget the zip code. So did you burn down the... Did you burn it down so that people would mail more mail? Zip code map with harvest dead center. Hmm. Uh, let's try Potsdam chat with them did you say hello to your father for me yes I did thank God for that at least can't accuse you of abusing her I don't believe it well I'm relieved about that at least 
<laughs> Someone went and scraped up Johnson's car? Can you imagine? He'd step in a bear trap and chew his own leg off rather than suffer a scratched tucker. Serves the rich bastard right, if you ask me. You know, with a slaughterhouse full of meat in town, what kind of nutcase would steal a barber's pole? Oh well, Pastorelli won't need it where he is. God rest his soul. Those silly willies down at the fire station are just <laughs> incensed about losing some decorating stuff. <laughs> Harvest will never be the same without DNA's diner. Or without DNA, for that matter. True. Let's go chat with Stephanie. Steve, it's so good to see you again. I get so lonely in here. I'm sorry. Want to hear what's happening out in the real world? No. I'd rather forget about Harvest for a while. Stephanie? I feel so close to you, Steve. Like we're the only two people in Harvest. The only two real people. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. I need to feel something again. This sense I have that I've known you. It's my only link to my past. Yeah. Maybe it's different than memory. Maybe we don't remember each other so much as we recall the feelings deep inside. Strong feelings. Maybe the body has its own memory. Let's find out. I want you to. Then take me. Now. Oh, God. Okay. <laughs> uh huh. Hmm. That was a weird shortcut scene. Okay. <laughs> Let's check on the wasp woman. It's not often that I get visitors. Goodbye, ma'am. And Johnson residence. Hello, sir. Sorry, Steve. Too tired to talk right now. I just gave the Tucker a tune up. I'll talk to you later. Good work rescuing Karen. Of course, you <laughs> queered my play with Edda, but I suppose a little girl's life is more important than my sex life, right? So Pastorelli's barber pole got stolen. Big deal. Now me, I know tragedy. Of course, Pastorelli got electrocuted, but at least his pain is over. DNA's diner burned down. What a shame. Women running things, that's the problem. If she'd had a man around, that fire never would have happened. What a waste. Damn terrible thing, that business with the TV station. I can't sleep now. Keep waking up in a cold sweat. I'm thinking of getting some fireproof aluminum siding for my garage. Think that's a good idea? Uh, yeah. Bye now. 
This guy is such a creepy old man. Excuse me. Uh, Pepsi, I would ask yourself, why do you care so much? What does that say about you? Hmm. Hmm. Alright, let's make a save. Alright, let's go ahead and punch. Unfortunately, you can't grab him. Let's go talk to the mortuary guy again. Hello. Young man, we really have nothing to say to each other. I have the feeling your innards shall soon adorn my slab. And I'd rather not know the face of the meat I'm slicing. The WHAR fire is just another example of the vagaries of my profession. Odd, oh, after such a catastrophic conflagration, not to have any fatalities. Disappointing, in a way. I might have gotten some paying customers for a change. Goodbye. I... Let's go to the, We haven't been to the police station in a while. Let's go chat with him. I haven't gotten arrested three times either. We'll try that. I'll save. Boy, the way you keep pestering me, you'd think you were feeling guilty about something. Are you? What? You've been shooting off your mouth about me and Boyle, Steve. I would never. I got a report here that someone put a ding on Johnson's Tucker. <laughs> As honorary as Johnson is about that old car, I suppose he had it coming. I imagine it was just some kids pulling a prank. I'm nowhere near solving the Tucker case, and now I have to deal with a bunch of firemen throwing a hissy fit over some stolen cloth. Can you imagine? What the heck is going on around here? Looks like we've got us a mini crime wave on our hands. Just got a report about another act of vandalism. May be related to the Tucker incident and the fire station robbery. Someone broke into Pastorelli's barbershop and took his pole. Wasn't me. Next morning, Pastorelli touched some live electrical wires that were left dangling and zap. No more barber. What was just an act of vandalism has just become a case of manslaughter. I don't like it. Harvest used to be such a nice little town. Someone went and torched Edna's diner. Any evidence went up with the fire. And Edna, she hung herself. Oh, God. Whoever's doing these things may not have intended to kill anyone. But just the same, if I catch them, it's the chair for sure. You see what happened to my, to Harvest TV station? Oh, this time that little fire bug is gone too goddamn far, boy. That wasn't no goddamn newspaper building. That was a, a telecommunications complex. Somebody's gonna pay for this. Pay through the nose. Stop on by any time, Steve. Oh, I will. Thank you, uh, Shiggle Fitz, for buying some horror month. For giving a horror month mug away to chat. Type exclamation point enter for a chance to win. Boy, the way you keep pestering me. You'd think you were feeling guilty about something. Are you? Maybe. Stop on by any... I'm sorry. I don't feel up right now. <laughs> to talking, that is. 
That's yeah, all right, time, Luma. kiddo. Bye, Loomis. Uh, let's check out the diner. I've tried so hard to find an excuse to keep on fighting. But Karen and I can't go out alone any longer. This diner he left us was all we had. It was always a struggle to keep it running in such a small town. And now we've lost it. I know that I can't afford to support us now. There's only one way out. I'm sure you won't be able to understand depth of despair that would enable a mother to put a rope around her baby's neck and push her into the air and jump after her. I wonder if I'll hear her next now. If she kicks around and takes a long time to strangle me, I'll scream. But I won't cut her down. I've got to be stronger than I ever was before. But I wish she doesn't care. God help us and forgive us. And if it's Andrew. So weird. Well, let's go check the TV station as well. I got burned down last night. Say, can oh my you God. spare a dime for a buckaroo who's down on his luck? The whole shebang just went up in flames, and I'm looking uh. to mosey on to greener pastures where the sunset's always golden and there's always another savage to kill. Okay. Looking like Freddy Krueger now. DNA's diner is no more, as is Edna herself. She hung herself as soon as she realized what had happened to her beloved establishment. A true entrepreneur and a credit to her nation. You bastard, you made me a murderer. Her suicide was an unforeseen byproduct. Predictable by no one. She killed herself. She made her choice. If you were a catalyst, join the rest of the world. We all live off the deaths of others. Still, you sought to torch her diner, and torched it is. You have proven yourself a worthy candidate for initiation. Canada, I thought this was the initiation. This was only a trial to determine your worthiness for testing. Your initiation into the mysteries of the harvest will soon begin. In the meantime, be patient. Protocols must be observed before initiation may commence. How I recognize this sign? You will know. When you receive the invitation, bring it here, and your initiation shall begin. Oh, I think it was at Stephanie's house. What the hell? Guess I can forget about the meat, huh? What do you mean? 
your dad must have pulled some strings. Be sure and check Stephanie's pillow, you lucky bum. What the hell are you talking about? You'll see once the sheriff gets here. <sighs> Stephanie, Stephanie. Things will never be the same now. Guess I'll be watching TV nights. Okay, you can come in now, son. My God. Is that what I think it is? Yep, it's a spinal cord. Is it Stephanie? I can see a resemblance, but I can't <laughs> be sure. <laughs> More pie, Sheriff? <laughs> pie? Don't you realize what's happened? Oh, indeed I do. I, I can just hear the tongues wagging at the PTA. Was it suicide? <laughs> Never heard of anyone pulling their own spinal cord out before. Off the record, I'd have to say no. No, <laughs> all in all, I'd say this was death by natural causes. What? Natural causes? <laughs> you can't live without a spinal cord, son. Nothing unnatural about that. <laughs> Think I will have some more pie. <laughs> away I can't believe this <laughs> this is horrible believe me you get to the point to where this is routine now the only clue we got is that card on our pillow take a look at it Sacred rehearsal room, Steve Madsen invitation to sacred. This is practically a confession. Confession to what, son? Murder. Isn't that what you're here to investigate? Son, you don't investigate natural deaths. No point. Then I'll get to the bottom of this myself. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm sure you will. More pie, Sheriff? Don't mind if I do. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Lodge imitation. Okay, go ahead and save natural causes. No, I can't punch him. Well, we can take this invitation over to the lodge. Become a member. You received the invitation, but you have not brought it. I don't understand. The invitation was not the card, but the spinal cord. It must be presented to me. What? Here I allow you to enter. You expect me to steal the rem- You sick bastard, what have you done with Stephanie? The mysteries are only disclosed to members of the Order, not initiates. You were provided an invitation. Bring me the skull and spinal cord if you would pass to the world beyond. Right. So I need to go back and grab the spinal cord. Oop. Go up. Oh, it's gone. 
They probably took it to the graveyard, I'd imagine. Let's go to the cemetery. Marble doors have been sealed shut. Let's use the ladder. On the crypt. We shall save. And we're going to smash. Alright, going in. Die, demon dog thing! <laughs> A nauseating smell wafts from within the unsealed sarcophagus. Ah, there it is. A skull and spinal cord. Lovely. That was no dog, that was some demon thing. Alright, well now we can go get in the lodge and find out what the hell's going on in this town. Here's your damn spinal cord, sir. Ah, you have done well. Now, let the initiation commence. As your mystic arc, it is requested and required that I turn over this sacred dagger to you to aid you in your quest. What is this? It's the you symbol. must now enter the lodge. Initiates find it a hostile place. Are you supposed to help me or get me killed? I'm starting you on the path of initiation to a very special, very exclusive brotherhood. I am merely the administrator of a test. Whether you view me as an enemy or a friend depends on how well you're prepared to pass. And this thing? You haven't said what it is. It is a special weapon. Using it will be part of the initiation. Fine, I'll use it if I have to. You always have a choice, Initiate. Which choices you make matter only to you. Whatever occurs in here is relevant to the great question which you cannot help but answer. What is at issue is whether in answering the question you will find the answers you seek. You will encounter those intent on preventing or prompting your answer, depending on how you look at it. While the assumption is you want to live, dying is easy and provides its own answer, but not for you. Just tell me, is Stephanie dead or being held within? The membership director on the second level keeps track of such things. Oh great, then you are against me. I am the sergeant at arms. I am here to ensure that the protocols are observed. Deviation from a protocol shall result in punishment. Remember what I have told you. Now, let the initiation begin. Uh, we'll see. I give this hotel three stars. It was quite a hassle to get a room here.
Okay, we'll make a save because this place is very dangerous. The lodge. All right. Hello there. Ah, oh, you're here. Excellent. You'll find them through that door. Excuse me? You are the exterminator, are you not? No. In that case, I'm afraid you'll have a hard time of it, sir. Recently, the lodge has become infested by pests. They need exterminating or, to be blunt, sir, they need killing and plenty. What's the quickest way to the second level? The second floor, sir. The entrance is hidden, but a little reflection should reveal the answer. To find the key to the second floor, reach deep within yourself. I wish you good luck, sir. I only hope you can stomach what's ahead. Let's see. So all my items are gone except for my blade. Oh. Where is the door? Ah, you're here. Excuse me? You? No. In that case. What door? What pest we talking about? We're not speaking of cockroaches. A bewildering variety of deadly beasts lie beyond. And just before the annual board meeting. Dreadful. I wish you good luck, sir. I only hope you can stomach what's ahead. Oh, there we go. Trapdoor. <laughs> okay. Oh, great. This, this is fine. Let's equip the blade. Are we in some site type, some sort of creature? Oh, God. Ugh. Uh, a shell lodged deep in the porous wall looks like a cocoon of some sort. Oh, God. Oh, no. Ew. <laughs> Eyeballs. Oh, hello. Sorry, I have to. Have to uh, hey, hey, hey! Sam and the big eye. A big blue eye looking right at you. <laughs> Upon leaving the strange room behind, notice the burning feeling in your skin. You also notice a gooey film on the slime covers of your clothes. Uh, a cracked vase. Hmm, a real plant. Uh, let's save. Okay, we'll save Lodge, level two. Hello. This is a cloakroom, sir. By definition, not a fitting place to seek answers. However, it's plain that the acid from your ordeal is eating away at your clothing and skin. I can clean your clothes for a minor consideration of five dollars. Oh, uh, yes please. This is a cloak. A top revelry in the past. I want you not to touch anything. Hatchbox empty with dead cockers lying in the corner. I don't have five dollars though.
Door seems to be locked. This is a cloakroom. <laughs> you acquire a shotgun. <laughs> uh, apparently, uh... Use Toga on... I just murdered that guy, just because I could. Certainly, you step over this rug, you, you spy a brand marked seared into the fur. Doesn't book animal husbandry. Old radio. Blazing fire. Kindle is still warm. Candle table still warm. Oh look, a five dollar bill. Actually, I should probably reload. I need that guy. I need him to clean my clothes. As the acid's probably killing me. Must have disagreed something they ate. Must have disagreed with them. Uh, wall of horror and death. The walls contain scenes of horror and death. See, they get there. <laughs> Books. Bear skin rug. This is a cloakroom, sir. By definition, not a fitting place to seek answers. However, it's plain that the acid from your ordeal is eating away at your clothing and skin. I can clean your clothes for a minor- All right, so go back in the middle. Oh, there's a place going the right, okay. Liquor shelves. Have a drink. Yes. Delicious beer. Strong beer. The room spend your vision blurs. Oh no. Oh god. Oh tight. <laughs> Go back. Oh shit. Was he supposed to? He was supposed to drop a key, right? Okay, I have the key. Cash register is locked. Use the key on the cash register. Take the dollars. Five dollar bill. Perfect. Okay, let's go back and use the five dollars to get my clothes cleaned. Cause the acid's killing me apparently. Uh five dollars. Here you go. Cloakroom cleans the acid off your clothes. Thank you, sir. 
That was very, very kind of you. <laughs> and now I got your shotgun. I'll take the toga. Thank you very much. Okay, go ahead and put them on that peg. Perfect. Shotgun shells. And a scythe. Ooh. Scythe seems cool. Okay, go ahead and save. Scythe. Door seems to be locked. I wonder if the scythe is better. Probably better. Hi. Well, I hope you're proud of yourself killing my clientele. What? Ever since the monsters invaded this level. The members have taken to dining with the Grand Poobah upstairs. Actually, I have to admit, my last few meals haven't been up to snuff. The problem is the freshness of the corpses, or lack thereof. See, the supply has dried up. The sergeant-at-arms always used to insist that bodies killed in the lodge be disposed of without trace. And so the members would bring me their business for preparation and dissemination. Uh, what's behind all this killing? Oh dear, you're not a member, are you? You're an initiate. Forgive me, I can't say another word about it. Can you tell me anything that might help me? Not really. Well, I hope you're proud of yourself, killing my clientele. Ever since the monsters invaded this level, the members have taken to dining with the Grand Poobah upstairs. Actually, I have to admit, my last few meals haven't been up to snuff. The problem is the freshness of the corpses, or lack thereof. See, the supply has dried up. The sergeant-at-arms always used to insist that bodies killed in the lodge be disposed of without trace. And so the members would bring me their business for preparation and dissemination. Uh, Tommy, do you know about a girl named Stephanie? Sorry. You would need to talk to the membership director up on two. Can you tell me anything that might help? Not really. Well, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> what? Oh my god. <laughs> Wrecked. Damn. That scythe might just be really good. <laughs> the chef destroyed me. Well, actually. The sergeant. Is oh, no. Well, ever. So. Alright, let's go ahead and save right here. Get closer to the chef. <laughs> no! <laughs> At the same time. <laughs> Both died at once. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> Seems like we're just got to get. There we go. That's a very sharp cleaver. Your chef was trying to separate with your head. Pick it up and add to your inventory. Ham and cheese on rye. Can only hope. Mm. Go ahead and eat that. Okay, we're hit. We're, we're we are full health again. Take the torso. Cut a meat. No longer butcher would have named for it. 
Uh, a, a watched... A watched severed head never boils. <laughs> Shattered mirror hints that someone else didn't like what they saw. Filthy sink littered with dead uh, bodies. Payphone operative splatter with flecks of gray matter. This is nasty. Alright, let's go ahead and save. Now we kill the chef. Oh, it said dead babies. Oh, great. That's that's so much better. Anything to pick up over here? It's like, nope. Okay. Let's go this way. Use the light switch. Oh, I'll open the door. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> Jeez. Oh my god. Okay, man, with the sight. This thing has a really good Really long reach. Possibly shotgun. We'll see. Okay, go ahead and save. Yeah, the combat in this game is terrible. <laughs> it's really bad. Oh no. I guess we'll try the shotgun. Okay, that thing's pretty effective. My dog's name is Steve. Would you like my autograph, Steve? Here you go, then. Steve. I'm just Range Rider, the cowboy. One arm bandits. I last some healthy junk. Did I get any gum? Baseball bat. Uh, pool table. Someone scratched. Go ahead and save. Go ahead and save again. We've well, been watching the Silent Hill Ascension launch on Halloween. What is that? Uh, dartboard. Let's see. Oh God! <laughs> okay. Nom 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 nom. <laughs> Mortis. Now let's go ahead and throw a little bit of meat. There, he'll eat that. Be satisfied for a minute. Pesticides cage contains DDT. Oh God. Empty. Empty. Lodge version of ancient Roman um, vomitorium. Roaches are crazy. The succulent riches of contain hair in. Someone must have mistaken this for a toilet. Ah. Ooh. 
Okay, go ahead and throw the torso in there. Someone used the, the someone went in the sink instead of the bath instead of the toilet. Stay tuned, Nasty. Mm -hmm. Oh, I can take the pool stick. And then go in there, I guess. Okay, go ahead and save first. We'll see what happens when you don't use the weed killer. Go ahead and use the uh, weed killer. Once Beetle Fountain needs Gardner, the weeds have taken over. It's more alien than plant like. Fountain Gate. What is that face? Um. Oh, there it is. Okay, key. Gee, that is so hard to see. Oh my God. Is there a keyhole? Oh, there it is. Yep. Okay. Use key on keyhole. <laughs> Okay, go ahead and save. That's awful. Looking for 30 minutes. Oh, go, 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 go. Go back. Eat some bubble gum. Oh god, he is like one hit from dead. Okay, bubble gum. Okay, bubble gum again. Okay, a couple more. Okay, now we're full health again. <laughs> so, bubble gum heals you. Any type of food heals you in this, apparently. Uh, this section of the game is very rough because it has a bunch of stuff that only applies to this section of the game. <laughs> they apparently ran out of money about halfway during the development of this game and had to, like duct tape big chunks of the game together, including all the lodge and stuff. That's why the lodge has almost no talking and almost no full motion video because they ran out of money and time and they had to like get it together <laughs> very quickly. A rotting piece of plywood. 
Non-functioning power box. A barrel of foul-smelling liquid. Foul-smelling liquid. Rotting piece of plywood. Oh, wait, there's a rope there. Hey, grab the rope, you hear a scream. Quickly, come up to the investigate. Okay, now we're on level two of... of the lodge. Welcome to the Harvest Moon Art Gallery, sir. I'm the curator of this place. So delighted you could come. I expect it'll be an engaging experience. That it will, I'm afraid. Art often forces engagement, doesn't it? Lovely works, pastoral scenes, noble sculptures. These are easy on the eye and mind. But when confronted with a work of hideous form, you're forced to deal with it, even if only to dismiss it as trash. Sadly, the most extreme works are the hardest to dismiss. Grotesqueries amid works of beauty are necessary. That should be taken for granted. Nevertheless, it's important that each individual determine his own sense of aesthetics. For that reason, I give you permission to obliterate that which forces you to linger too long in the gallery. I'm just passing through. If only it were that simple. <laughs> uh oh, uh, statue. All oh, right. Gotcha. Okay, that's one. Oh, yeah. I love how the statue has blood. Okay, there's a door I need, but I need a key first. Yes, our character is all about the art of murder. Do we have a key yet? Yes, we do. Okay. Let's go back. Key on the door. We better save. We took quite a bit of damage there, just in case. Alright. It's in that first door. Hello, ma'am. Can I help you? I'm looking for a girl. This is a library, not a brothel. You don't understand. <laughs> I have reason. I hope to believe that she was brought here. Do you know anything about that? I'm afraid not. I tend to stay out of lodge affairs. I'm only in charge of the library, my good fellow. Well, if she is here, she's not been invited as a member. There are no female members of the order. To be sure, one or two have qualified throughout our history, but they're generally not of our caliber. I doubt there are any females in this building, at least none that are extant. But you're a woman. I'm not a member. Women are kept here for the services they are able to render. Jeez. Just as some jobs are beneath men, so too can certain services only be supplied by women. Wow. If she is here, you'll find her on the third floor, which you'll have difficulty finding without my help. And you want something in return. 
I'll give you a clue as to how to get to the third floor, but only if you'll retrieve an overdue book from one of our charter members, a Mr. Kane. Since he is so highly regarded among the Order, I'm loath to approach him on such an embarrassing matter. Therefore, bring me the book and I'll help you. How will I know which book? Oh, you'll know it. He's not an avid reader. Can I help you? I'm looking for a girl. This is a lie. You don't understand. I'm- Oh, it's looping. Wh what do you mean extant? Oh, I see. You're the new initiate. If she is here, you'll find her on the third floor. And? Yep. Okay, same thing again. Alright. Well, let's go this way. God. Okay, saving. <laughs> Let me see. Oh yes, the new initiate. I'm the Lodge membership director. What can I do for you? Looking for a girl named Stephanie. The Lodge is a traditional place, young man, and by tradition, when a young man is courting a young woman, he wins for her a Cupid doll at the fair. There is no fair within the lodge. However, I have seen a thing which resembles a cupie somewhere on this floor. Seek it out, slay it, and return here with a prize if you would seek your lady. Hmm. Let me see. Can you help me out a little? Shortly, you will run into a fellow named Mr. Kane. He has the strength of the truly insane. You will need help to get past him. They say that music hath charms to soothe the savage breast. Music alone won't do the Beast. trick. Beast. Beast. An appreciation of music may net you something that will. Photographs very familiar strangers. <laughs> the savage breast. What's in there? Piano? Beautiful grand piano. So I probably need to play music on there. Okay, go back this way. The door is locked. The door is barred from either side. Dun, 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 dun. Place has soothing music. Not much else is going on here, though. Okay, back. How about that way? Uh, rook shaped ashtray. Found a shotgun shell. Oh. Ooh, chess game. He looks very Dan based. I am the chess master. Any initiate who wishes to pass this way must do so over my dead body. Being a civilized man, I offer my opponents a choice. Solve my problem or fight me to the death. Do you know how to play chess? Yes. In that case, mate me and you may pass.
Oh, so... He's white, and I'm black. Okay. Or is it the other way around? Do I have to move the horse? Okay, so I have to move the horse. Take that if I move it there. Chess is a civilized game. How sad that we must now resort to a less civilized form of conflict. What? Tarnation. <laughs> I am the ch in that. Okay, there, finally. Probably. Chess master's lifeless body. Oh, I found a key. All right. All right. Uh. All right then. Well, that. Uh. Yeah. Okay then. Right. Save the game. I just asked him where the key was and he showed me. Excuse me, you can't come in right now. I just mopped the floor. Um. You think just because I'm a janitor, I got no pride? That's all I got to do all day is clean up after you rich bastards? Big eyes before you get hurt. All right, buddy. You ask for it. Oh, God. Oh, oops. Okay, he shot me a couple of times. 
All right, you asked for it. Um, right, 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 right. <laughs> Okay, and go ahead and save again. Janitor. Every room in this is life or death. Oh, no. Door is locked. Bloody key might go there. Oh god, clown! Clown! It's a clown! Clown! Oh god! <laughs> clown with a chainsaw! Grab the chainsaw, yeah, it's your inventory, it will come in handy. Also, find a Cupai doll and something looks like a key. Oh my god. Trench is broken, so you're able to screen the film, which happens to be the light holiday cl children's classic. Uh, boy goes ape shit with a chainsaw. Uh, don't say this cake is half eaten. Say the cake is spider with brain matter. Either way, don't eat it. Uh, tank is empty. Jack in the box. Brown stains the outside. Jack says that you don't want what's packed inside spraying out. Uh, a rocket. It goes pop. Perhaps a clue is why the birthday wasn't very happy. Says happy birthday, asshole. <laughs> Let's play Impale the Poor Dumb Hapless Animal Lawn Darts. Okay. Go ahead and save. Right. Uh let's go back. This game is very, very, um, unique. <laughs> very unique. God! <laughs> Search the body, you find a book. Oh, found the overdue library book. Uh, Mr. Kane's sole possession uh, since the death of his brother. Right, well, he did. I found the overdue library book. Door is locked. That key probably opens that door. Go ahead and save. Uh, Want to see uh, if you die in most of the combats? It's just simply you die. There's no real cutscene for it. It's only like the script and stuff that have actual cutscene deaths. Flag. Another flag. Hammer. Lunchbox. Non functional kitchen. Staircase going nowhere. Let's go back. Uh oh. Like, we'll test it here and see what happens when we die. If it's an actual custom or just death. Yeah, see, it's just like game over. Only some of them have actual cutscenes. Mm -hmm. 
go in there. Dun, 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 dun. Get the flag and the other flag. Okay, wood plank. Wood plank. Grab a sandwich on a lunchbox, put it, to, put it away for later. Hell yeah. Okay, go ahead and save. Over this way. And that door over there. Take that, zombie. Lighter fluid. Take that. Uh, standard type C fire extinguisher. Complimentary coffin nails. Oh, God. Technically not wrong. All right, go ahead and save. And two masks hanging on the wall. Oh my god, I did it! Amazing. Oh, a door opened up. Damn the what? Red, blood red water swirls behind glass. Great. Uh, blood red water swirls behind glass. Good usable pipe. Take that. A wrench. Battery. Aruga. Another pipe. Another pipe. <laughs> A switch box, door is locked. Aruga. Control valve. on the broken pipe. Okay. Then put... Well, that didn't work. Well, that didn't work. Oh, man. Bypass pipe. There we go. Okay, let's make a save here. And see what happens if we don't solve the puzzle in time. 
<laughs> Aruga, Aruga, Aruga. I wonder what happens if it hits red. <laughs> <laughs> that was a nice scoop. Yay! Door is locked. Door is locked. Oh, there's a key there. Yep. Forgot the key. Why would the key be in the boiler like that? It's so random. Okay. Okay, we are almost dead. Look at us. Jeez. Uh, is there a sandwich in my inventory? Sandwich. Yes. There we go. Okay, go ahead and use the key. Back off! Back off, sir! <laughs> Murdering everybody. <laughs> Alright, over this way. So you want me to guess use the planks right here. Wooden plank above lava? Right. Right. Of course. Of course. Okay, put the flag here. And the flag here. Aha! Rain's a less fortunate inmate. Some very strong flagpoles. Uh-oh. Take that, old man! Gotcha! <laughs> <laughs> Get wrecked. All right, now we climb. Here, scream quickly, climb up to investigate. All right, now we made it to level three. Level three. Let's see. <laughs> um, grab the nails. <laughs> this is the temple of the mystery of abstinence. Do not eat of the food or you will be punished. All within are hereby bound to a vow of abstinence. Can't eat burgers? Uh... Oh no. I want those burgers! You obey well, Initiate. Better than your brethren. They have eaten and grown stronger for it. As promised, I will not punish you for your obedience. But they will. Oh god! <laughs> he, he ate so many burgers, he looks like one now. He's got the burger shape. <laughs> okay, go ahead and save. Again. That was my cameo. <laughs> Door is locked from the other side.
And some mothers complain that their children don't come to see them. Shocked? This is the mystery of motherly love. Everyone says motherhood is fulfilling, when in reality, it's draining. Uh, yeah. I see what you mean. You don't know the ah. half of it. Ugh. From the start, children are parasites. That's what you've got to understand. Ugh. Sucking the life out of you. Your very life's blood pumping from your belly through obscene pink tubes into their thieving hearts. And even after birth, they keep leeching the life from you. Of course, my children are better at it than most. Is that the bliss of motherhood? That's the mystery. Just what the world needs. More greedy little mouths to feed. Children suck the life out of society. They have to be protected, nurtured. Everything has to be childproof and rendered childish. Sadly, they'll suck the life out of you too. You too. You're not gonna eat me, child zombie creature. Okay. Weird and creepy. Welcome to the temple of the mystery of religion. The mystery is thus. Those who preach love and mercy in God's name are often those who call for the death of heathens. Do you believe in God, my son? Sure, why not? You seem you like you are do. Wise. His mercy anoints us all. And where doth he dwell, the Lord? Ah, uh, in heaven? Indeed! Any other response would be blasphemous. Answer me this, if the word be with you. Does the Lord bounce on a spring or frolic with the wombats? Clearly, frolic with the wombats. Yes, the fields of the Lord are rife with wombats, and he is their shepherd. Answer thus, if thou be virtuous, doth God Almighty herd them with his staff or with special imported wombat herding equipment? I'll take the staff? Naturally, God, being almighty, hath no need to import anything his <laughs> staff doth serve. Now, I ask thee one final question, which is only known to those amongst the ranks of the saved. Is God a jar of strawberry preserves, a size 12 sneaker, a foot-long hoagie, an all-expense-paid trip to Brazil? Or a new car! <laughs> uh, a trip to Brazil. You are correct. Pass in peace, brother. <laughs> the Lord is with thee. <laughs> Go ahead and save. Clearly, Brazil.
Rotted remains of... Ugh. Woman is viciously disemboweled. Nicely framed metal. A can of sea rations. Ugh. Ugh. Um... What do you want here? I'm just passing through. You think it's that simple, huh? Just passing through? Well, my family was just sitting around. And look where it got them. You killed your family? What of it? My country paid me to kill. And then when I came home, I was out of a job. They expected me to stop? Cold turkey? Is that what they wanted? A paycheck today, jail cell tomorrow? Am I a criminal or an entrepreneur? Hey, let's find out. Oh, God. Find nothing usable on the body. Great. A bloody corpse. Oh, God, the meat! Welcome to the temple of the mystery of flesh, Steve. Have a bite. Mr. Potsdam? <laughs> the mystery is this. Sometimes you have to lose some meat to get some meat. They wouldn't let me in until I demonstrated my worthiness. My invitation came after I buried Karen alive. That showed initiative. And her spinal cord was your ticket in, right? Yes, but to be initiated into the mysteries of the harvest, I had to do one last thing. I let them into the house and into Stephanie's bedroom. Was that her on the bed or is she alive? Sorry, that's not my department. Now I am a butcher. You should have gotten your dad to hire me on. That way, you could have been the boss instead of the prime cut. Oh no. Oh, Dan Chonk. Oh, God. <laughs> uh, okay, we took a couple of hits there. We're still fine. Go ahead and save. But now, he finally not only be got the meat, he became the meat. It's poetic. Hello, handsome. Looking for a good time at a reasonable price? Uh, sure, I'd love to get it on with the ladies. All right, that'll be $200. $200? You call that a reasonable price? You're saying my girls aren't worth a lousy 200 bucks? You men are all the same. Such is the mystery of lust. So often the instruments of lust, as all instruments of higher pleasure, are condemned as frequently as they are sought after. I'd go on about the hypocrisy of a hedophobic society, but I think I'd rather just kill me a man. Oh, man. oh sorry, ma'am. <laughs> oh, God. All right. Well, they're dead. Uh, ex erotic art noise. Hello there. Welcome to the temple of beauty. And am I not beautiful, oh man? Look at my hair, black as a moonless night. Look into my eyes, deep pools of desire. Look at my complexion, pale white and glistening. Uh, you're not that hot. Get over it, dudes. <laughs> you bastard! <laughs> <laughs> Banned. <laughs> well.
welcome initiate to the temple of the mystery of pain. The mystery is thus. The simple manipulation of nerves may break one man and yet leave another unmoved. The physiology is the same. All nerves sing alike, yet the results differ. The question can only be answered by paradox. Although the body functions according to the tenets of science, the invocation of pain is an art. My implements are simple things, like a painter's brushes, from which beautiful complexities spring, different stories brought forth from different canvases, with the different application of a stroke. I invite you now to torture this man on the table to explore this blessed mystery yourself. Otherwise, I'll have to teach you the lesson myself. Restraining table. Uh, a syringe marked vaccine. Um. <laughs> Got him. Oh, he did. Well, he did, sir. Is that what you wanted? Can't get that guy. Oh well. Welcome to the temple of the mystery of charity. Oh what God, mystery it's that is guy. charity? For God's sake. The mystery is thus: any act of charity is an act of selfishness. For in any charitable exchange, one must take from another, and one is always left the poorer. Giver's not poor, he receives a great feeling of from giving. A feeling? Discouraging answer, initiate. You see, though I am needy, I do not consider myself a beggar so much as a taker. I require charity, initiate. Give me something. Go to hell. I'm a taker, initiate. Allow me to take you there. Gotcha. God, so much slaughter. All right. He literally exploded. This is the temple of the mystery of mercy. You're just in time for our little retirement ceremony. As part of your initiation, you'll be required to execute them. That's how all people are disposed of the lodge. And each member is expected to do his share. What? Should be pretty easy. They're weak, but by retiring them, you advance yourself. Hold. They're very <laughs> Do you grant it? Uh, no. Then finish it. Initiate. Easy. Love is the mystery of mercy. Life is a competition, and mercy a perversion of the natural order. When you extend mercy to a competitor, you give him a second chance to beat you. <laughs> oh God! <laughs> I'm curious if I uh. Save. <laughs> you find an ancient sword. I kill him too. Well, he doesn't get mercy either. All right, let me take the shotgun.
Oh no. <laughs> no mercy. Okay, go ahead and save. Okay, I can't harm him from there. Oh, no! No! That's so brutal. He just starts firing away. And I got like one HP too. Go to the left side and then the right. Go to the right side then the left side. <laughs> what? It, w it wouldn't fire at him. It kept firing at the floor. Again. Oh. All right. Trying again. Stay Thing equipped. Stay to the okay, we'll save right here. It goes a little bit faster every time. Get him. Okay. Can you reload? Use the shotgun shells on the shotgun. Okay. Well, that, well, that didn't work. No. Or not. Okay, saving. Saving. Welcome to the inner sanctum, big oh, guy. Dear God. Principal Harold? <laughs> what? Did it crash? Oh, no. Oh, it crashed in a terrible spot. That was some quality time crashing. So this game does not have a main menu. Okay, uh, load. Quality time. Control F4.
Welcome to the Inner Sanctum, big guy. Principal Harrell? Within the Inner Sanctum, you will address me as Vice Muck Harrell, second in command to the Grand Muckety Muck. He of the Fez and Buffalo Ham, the secret handshake, the funny passwords. Only fitting, given that my role has always been that of an educator, and Harvest is one big classroom. What do you mean? You'll, You'll have, have to, to kill, kill me to, me to find, find out what he means, means big, big guy. guy. No! Oh, God. Another one hit kill. Welcome to the inner sanctum, big guy. Prince. Within it. What do you mean? Yep. <laughs> Got him. This is always a great moment when the initiate passes over the threshold and becomes a brother. Stephanie? I believe you have something for her. Resistance to desensitize you 
to violence. Now you may become a harvester and re-enter the real world or stay in peace with young Stephanie. Didn't we already kill like 40 people to get here? In the construct known as harvest. What is the real world at this point? Right now, you are suspended in a sensory deprivation tank wired to a VR tech. If you don't join us, we will terminate your life support and you will be dead within minutes. Those last minutes, however, will seem like a lifetime lived in harvest. You will marry Stephanie and die peacefully of old age. You're presuming a lot. Aside from you, she is the only real person in Harvest. Suspended in a tank, jacked in just as you are. I assume you'll want to spend time together. If I stay. Of course. Having completed your ordeal, you may leave with her as you intended and enjoy your victory. If, on the other hand, you wish to join us, the cost of exiting the Lodge is the same as the cost of entering the Lodge. A skull and spinal cord. We'll do the fake ending first. You disappoint me. You had possibilities. I'd rather die than become as twisted as you. You've made your choice and succeeded in your quest. Enjoy the life you've chosen, such as it is.
that's the fake ending. Now we do the real ending. <laughs> please help me. Steve, don't do this, please. No. No, please, somebody help me. No. Oh, I only have the baseball bat. Oh, that's going to take a while. I'm sorry, they didn't give me a good weapon. It's gonna take a minute. Oh god! Oh, shit. <laughs> That's like Predator. Fatality! Wow, that was neat. Welcome to our order, brother. Uh-oh. A self-driving car? Where are you going? Nowhere. Nowhere at all. That's why you don't pick up hitchhikers. What are you doing, son? Playing harvester. That thing? I looked at it the other day. The very thought. Breeding serial killers. It's disgusting. It's cool. You'll rot your mind playing games like that. <laughs> Don't you know people who watch violence become violent themselves? Not true. That's bullshit, Mom. Yeah. That is bullshit, Mom. No, it isn't. Yes, it is. Why do you think they started cutting the violence out of those Roadrunner cartoons? Roadrunner cartoons? <laughs> Roadrunner cartoons? <laughs> <laughs> Roadrunner cartoon. You ate the finger and the ring? That, I mean, I understand one, but why the ring too? Ugh. And that was Harvester. Uh, one of the strangest, weirdest, bizarre games ever made. Yup!